What you guys got another video on some of the new features that are coming in Windows 11 25 H2. So we'll go through some of them here. Now, obviously, the first one is the actual menu system. As you can see here, we have some sort of category system right here. This can be changed as well. We have the pin section, which is going to be two rows maximum. And we've got the recommended section inside here. It can be customized. We do have a search box up the very top here if you want to search you can do that now it's a little bit clunky because it's still uh, in early stages but this is definitely the finished article for windows 11 25 h2 there might be a few tweaks here and there but it will look something like this in the view category section you do have an option to change whether you want category or whether you want the grid look right here some people might prefer that and then you've also got the list uh, section right here, which puts everything in a list. Now, let me know in the comments section down below whether you like this menu or you prefer the old one or whether you just think it looks hideous. I'm not a fan of it, but some people might like it better. I do think it's better than what we had before, but it's still a long way off from being perfect. Now, when you right click on it and go to start options here, you can change these personalizations here. It's a bit buggy because we're on the Canary channel here. But as you can see, we do have an option to toggle some of these on or off. There's a big long list of them. I've turned them all on just to show you. But you can turn off and turn on whatever you feel like on this as well. And there's also the folder options, which allows you to tweak and add your settings, your file explorer, documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, network and personal folders to the actual menu as well if you don't think there's enough on that menu as it is because in my personal opinion they've just literally put every single icon and every category on that menu look at it it's just tons of stuff and it's so confusing i don't understand what their mindset is but i mean even the categories here these can be opened up, opened up and you can click on them um, but again i just don't know what they're trying to achieve uh, with this with the actual uh, sections right here you can't add any more than two layers of pinned the recommended section can be disabled but again that will make the menu grow if you're having stuff in the recommended section there if you're using the category section you can't drag and drop into these sections here but again these as you can see these can be opened up and uh, uh, and obviously click on them i'll quickly show you here when you click on uh, these right here, it just opens them up here and you can then click on them. So it's sort of a, you can't drag them out. You can see the, there's a no dragging option right here. So you can't drag from one category to another or anything like that. And uh, it's a bit glitchy at the moment because I am on a virtual machine and also this is not a finished build. So you can see this is what you, you're going to have once the item is released. Now there will be a section on here which is for your phone. Now use the Vive tool to get that working, but it wouldn't work. But again, it will be the phone link and it will be attached to the menu. You can toggle it on and off so it doesn't have to be visible all the time. And there'll be a little icon on the top of the right hand side of the menu, which allows you to toggle this on and off. I did try to get this working, but it wouldn't populate on my screen for some reason. Uh, maybe it's the build I'm using, but Phantom of the Earth uh, has actually posted about it on his Twitter account. So give him a check out on his channel i'll leave a link for that in the video description you can see this is what it will look like it makes the menu huge it really does when that's on but again like i said there is that little icon there that allows you to turn it on and turn it off i'll show you another image here that he's posted on his channel so thank you very much phantom of the earth for finding all this stuff for us to so we can bring it to our viewers as well so anyway that is the actual menu system right there and I'll, I'll leave links for, for this information down there in the video description for you. But that is the menu system. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I'll just show you some of the other stuff that is coming on the 25H2 version as well. Because they've added a few more features on here. And I'll just show you some of them. I'm not going to go through every single feature. I'll leave a link for it in the video description so you can go through. Some of this stuff is uh, really sort of not of much interest. But some of it mainly is your menu that you're going to be getting. Under the taskbar settings, there will be something to do with your icons, which will resize. If we come down here into uh, the behaviors part, taskbar behaviors right here, and open this up, 
Um, it's a little bit clunky at the moment, but let me just click on it. For some reason, my cursor has now disappeared. And also, I'm getting some sort of glitching on the screen. But as you can see here on this section, uh, if we look down at the bottom, it says show smaller taskbar buttons when the taskbar is full. So when the taskbar starts to get full, the actual taskbar buttons will reduce in size. And this is going to be an option right there. It can be changed if you want to, but that's just what they're going to be doing uh, moving forward. Another one is under the system and recovery. You do have the quick machine recovery. I did make a full video on this. And basically quick machine recovery is uh, for your device. If it fails to start, they'll try and fix the problem uh, with this recovery solutions. You can toggle this on and it will continue searching if there's a solution, if it isn't found. I've made a full video on this, but once it's done that, you can look for a solution every 30 minutes recommended. And you can see there's a restart every so many minutes there. You can change that as well. But that is the quick mach machine uh, recovery. I think it's probably going to be very similar to previous uh, recovery options that they've had. But this is a new approach of, of from what I've read on their uh, website and they're trying to do a different approach to try and fix uh, systems that are not booting. So that's what they're basically going to do. So let's go on and show you a couple of other little uh, interesting things that they've got going on. On the images part here, if you right click on this now, you can see you get this little menu system saying cut, uh, copy, rename, share and delete. And there's some other options on there like send to my phone and save as background and so on. Uh, the context menu is getting quite uh, big now. You can see the show more down there as well. So there's quite a, a few on this and it can get a little bit complicated and a little bit confusing. Uh, so there's only so much I think you can add to these context menus before it just becomes a bit bloated. So let's take a look also. I just want to quickly show you some other things that they've got inside here. Let's go to uh, the search up the top here. I'm just going to quickly go into the power options here because they've added something inside here as well. So let me just go to power actions. So there we go. And it's under the options right here where you can see energy saver. This reduced power consumptions and increase battery life uh, by limiting some background activities. Always use energy saver. There's a little toggle button here now where you can toggle that on. Uh, so they've added that option uh, in there as well. Oh, there's one last thing I wanted to show you in these uh, images right here. So when you click on an image and you right click on it, you can see the share option right here. So when you click on an image, it gives you the share option. And basically, you can see these are the options that you can have sharing using nearby sharing uh, and also paint and feedback hub and things like that. If there's an issue, you can send it there and a bunch of other options. But there's also uh, an option to compress as well if you wanted to. It's set to original at the moment. And uh, let me can show you here nearby sharing. You can turn on your mobile phone and any devices that are on the nearby sharing. But let me quickly show you this option right here. When you click on this, it says original, low, medium or high. So if you're on a limited connection, you could use a lower uh, resolution and compress that a little bit more if you wanted to. And there's a few other things inside Narrator and also uh, voice access as well. They've done a, a couple of bits in there. You can check out their website for more information on all of that stuff. Uh, if that is something that you need, you can see voice access right here. They've also done something inside here as well. You can toggle that on and use that. If you use those features, that might be good news for you. I think one of them something to do with language, Japanese and stuff like that. Um, but it's not something that uh, is super exciting. But anyway, you can check out their website, which is announcing all of the new stuff they've got coming on Windows 11 or 25 H2. And there's changes and improvements, which are gradually being rolled out in the dev channel. Uh, you can see right here, there's some voice access there. And there's also some other stuff about narrator and file explorer and things like that. They've done some fixes as well. And they're talking about the start menu and, and other options that we've gone through in this video. So I'll leave all this information in the video description for you. Uh, that's going to be about it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support, whether you're tier one, tier two or tier three. It really does mean a lot. Anyway, I shall catch you on the Discord server. If you want, the link is also in the video description or I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.